I wanted to share some things with you that I believe the Lord was showing me this week. My family and I moved here to Williamsport about 11 years ago. And when we first moved here, I remember somebody telling me about some big cross that was up on a hill, but I never saw it. I was confused about how to find it. But this week, I felt like I, I need to go and find that cross and, and did a little bit of um, kind of digging about it. So this cross was actually built in the 30s. And at the time it was built, all of these trees and everything, they were not here. And they would put lights on it so that down in Williamsport, you could look up on the hill and you could see this cross. It's 24 feet high and the cross beams are 12 feet wide. Early on Easter morning, there used to be as many as 25,000 people gathering up here. And I can't say why, but when I found this place a couple days ago, it just seemed like it was holy ground somehow. It, it felt so uh, important. And I feel like in the city of Williamsport that this ground has been dedicated and declared for the Lord. And that's why I want to give my message from here. Last Sunday, uh, instead of meeting in person, we met over Zoom. And while we were just meeting and talking and sharing, I had these words come to me as clear as day. And it was, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Well, I recognize that as something coming from Newton. And Newton's third law states that if an object, A, exerts a force on object B, then object B must exert an equal and opposite force. One example of this is the Earth's gravitational pull. The Earth pulls down on us with a gravitational pull. We also pull up on the Earth with an equal and opposite reaction. I know this is talking about physics, but I felt as though this applies to spiritual things as well. Right now, I can't imagine anything more than what we're going through right now where everything is shut down. Our people's health is affected, the economy is affected, but I feel like the bigger, the harder, the darker, the battle, the larger attack, the more that God is going to exert back, the more that we're going to discover victory in Him. I don't remember if it was Elijah or Elisha, but there was a woman with nothing, and Elijah or Elisha said to her, go and find every pot that you can and we'll fill it with oil. So she did. She went to her neighbors and got all of these pots. And just think about that. The more emptiness there was, the more filling there was. And in the same way, I think the longer, the darker, the harder this time of quarantine, the bigger, the larger, the grander that God's response is going to be and the more victorious. When I think of the deepest, darkest, worst time in the history of mankind or humankind, I think that was when humankind killed the Son of God. And that brings me to John 19, which we're going to read.